confident about that. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Brady. You guys. Craft your truth. This is this is my 2016 motto. There you go. Craft your craft truth. You. Hashtag craft, craft your truth. Your truth. Your truth. <laughs> 2016. <laughs> I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna keep doing that. I don't know what's happening. I am too, and it's it's a mess, but I'm just gonna see where it takes me. A mess is a light way to put it on my end. <laughs> That's a nice way to put it. Um, I think it's beautiful. <laughs> I've just never felt more in my zone than I do right now. We're just in the zone, in the I crafting just... zone. Man, I'm so mad about this This light. is just... It's wonderful. It's gorgeous. <laughs> I feel, I feel pretty good about that. Good, you definitely should. That should be on my resume as my special, special... Skills? Skills. It's crafting. crafting. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think so. I think after today, you can definitely put it on there. You know, there. you know what? I think so, too. Yeah. I'm trying to make this lace work. I'm really trying. Yeah, I know. You really are trying. I see you over there, boo. <laughs> I see you. Thanks so much. I'm trying so hard. Okay, so David Beckham... Who else did we say? Oh, that guy from Gossip Girl. Chase Croft. Chase Croft. And... And you pick another one. I'm trusting you. Uh, Tom Hardy. All right. That's a good one. There you go. So which... What is it? What, 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 are, what are the words that you use? Because <laughs> I know the real words, so we're not saying those. The words I use are Hanky Panky, Mary, okay. or Phil. Those three. Chase, Hanky Panky, mm. David, Mary. Mm. Kill Tom Hardy. Sorry. That's fair. I chose him for you, so. Kill Tom Hardy. Sorry, Tom Hardy. You're fine. I think this this game is really aggressive. It is. I, I wouldn't actually kill them. I know. I probably I would, should I would use different. I would nicely push them aside. <laughs> push them. That's what we'll call it from now on. I would say you on. lost, Tom. <laughs> Hanky Panky, Mary, or kindly push aside. Or kindly push aside. <laughs> That's what we're going to call it That's from now really on. funny, actually. <laughs> If I do say so myself, like oh, what? I love that. Will you give me three? You can just give me whomever. Okay. Um, Whoever you're feeling. Z Efron. Okay, yeah, because High School Musical. Ten high years. School Musical. Did you know that? I did know. My friend, my good friend Lucas, is on High School Musical. Oh no way. And he, yeah. So I was with him last week. Oh fun. And he. Oh wait, you know Robert, don't you? From So You Think You Can Dance. Yeah, I grew up with Robert. He's my favorite. Is he? Yeah. I love Robert. Okay, so Robert. Okay. <laughs> it's really weird that he's your friend and I'm like freaking out. Oh my god, he, he's such a beautiful he, dancer. Yeah, he is. I grew Ugh. up with him. We used to be really like, best friends. That's so awesome. Big awesome. fan, big fan. He's great. Great Robert and Zefron and And hold on. Joseph Gordon Levitt? Sure. Okay, sure. Great. He's like quirky and cute. These are okay. We're getting serious. We are getting really serious. And I'm Pinky Pinky, Mary, and, and kindly, kindly push, push aside. aside. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting serious as I'm trying to make this lace work desperately. And I'm actually not. trying to make this look worse, and I think I'm succeeding. <laughs> I feel... Love it. I just, I've never felt better than I, I do right now. Love it. Definitely gonna kindly push aside Z Efron. Okay. All right. I, you know what? I respect that and I get it. <laughs> he's not my. He's not my ultimate. I get it. I get it. Uh. Ooh. I think maybe Hanky Panky. J G L. Okay. And Mary Robert because I love Robert. <laughs> That's so weird. He's your friend and I just picked him. Why him and I've weird? never spoken to him a I day in it. my life. Are you kidding me? But he's such an amazing dancer. He and is. He seems like a lovely person. Oh, he's the worst. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's the best. I love Robert. Everybody who has no idea about So You Think You Can Dance is like, what are you guys talking about? Not even. I think people... You people should watch know. it because it's so good. Is it still on? Oh, yeah. Is he on it? Um, He's always an all-star. We used to be friends. I haven't talked to him in a while. I'm like, we're best friends. <laughs> we're best is friends. Is he on, he on the on show? <laughs> it's okay. I didn't know about... <clears throat> I didn't know if you were living in Vegas for forever. Yeah, I was there just in the dead of summer. Oh, yeah? It was <laughs> so summer. Oh, I bet. I bet. It was 120 degrees, what like, even... and just so dry. And Singer's, Singer's Vegas voice, by the way, is a thing. Oh. And it's because it's so bone dry. And it messes with your voice. Oh, my God. Like, all of us, the first couple weeks for rehearsal were, like, <clears throat> Oh, no. It um, was really hard, you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that. I think my masterpiece is done. <laughs> 
I I should I love give it to someone or should I like yes. frame it? Yeah, either or, one. Or either both. One. Yeah, both. Okay. You should make sure that whoever you gift it it's to. It's like frames why am I it. single? <laughs> It's like I can craft things. I have I have artistry you in have, my craft. You do. I just feel like that's really what men do. are looking for. You know what I mean? Well, fellas, single. <laughs> Chase, I will make you give me a call. Give me a call. I'll make I'll make you a paper mache box. <laughs> I love paper mache. <laughs> <laughs> Oh goodness. Oh Brie, I really That's... appreciate your valiant effort. No, this is a girl, girl. This is a mess. This Lord is a knows mess. there ain't no judgment over here. <laughs> Like, to I, me, that looks like it, that's award-winning. I'm so sad that I picked the wrong kind of lace. Can you see how it poofs? Is it? Yeah. Oh, it's God. bad. That's gross. Yeah. Well, I'm going to abandon the lace and just stick with the glitter for mm -hmm. now. Now he's going to open up to some questions from viewers. Okay. Here's a good one. Okay. From our good friend Lies. Interested. Lies. Love Lies. Interested in both of your perspectives on making it in entertainment. How much success counts as real success? I don't know. I haven't made it yet. Me either. <laughs> but see... We're on our way up. I think a lot of people would completely, you know, think that you're a person who's made it. But you don't feel that way about yourself. I think it's a weird thing, like, in culture, especially in American culture, mm -hmm. and in L.A., mm -hmm. it's always there. Mm -hmm. Always want more, mm -hmm. which is a good thing and a bad thing. Mm -hmm. um, also, the way I was raised, like, work hard, mm -hmm. keep going, which mm -hmm. I think is a great thing. Mm -hmm. But I kind of have that mentality, like, mm -hmm. I do too. anything. Yeah, and I think you kind of have to, you know, it's a it's a fine line. Like, you kind of balance it a little bit because you need to be, like, good to yourself mm -hmm. and, 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 um, and be happy with your set, which I am. Happy with all that I've been so grateful, as yes. I know you are, yes. with anything <clears throat> I've done or have been able to be a part of. Yes. There's always more. Yes. That's... I think you kind of have to be. Yeah. Especially in this town. You can't really get comfortable. No. Or be like, you know what? You guys, I've made it. Yeah. I. And the really difficult thing about this town is you can be a series regular on a show for six seasons and then it get canceled and not work for three years. Yep. It's a really hard business. Yep. Um, yep. and I've certainly, and I'm sure you have too, had my fair share of being like, I am going, I can't do this anymore. Like, yep. Yep. but I don't, but then, you know, I don't want to do anything else. It's the only thing I love and, and the only thing, um, I want to do anything with singing, acting, dancing, performing. Yeah. Um, but it's just, you just gotta keep, keep going. I think I didn't answer that question. No, you all. did. You did. You totally but did. And how. you really articulated that very well. Thank you. But yeah, no, I think about that a lot because I do too. Just I like, really struggle with it. Me too. Yeah. Because it's like you gotta be you gotta be grateful for what you have mm -hmm. and what you've worked for, mm -hmm. but not mm -hmm. think that's that you're like I have made it. It's a hard balance. Yeah. <clears throat> I have. Excuse me. I've really been trying lately mm -hmm. to like give myself credit for my accomplishments. Yeah, which I think I... is so important. So I'm just really bad at being like, oh, it's not a big deal, like all the time with everything. I know. And people are like, oh my gosh, your show won an Emmy, and I'm like, yeah, it's it's no. <laughs> you know, I'm just like, no, it it it's cool. Like, allow myself to realize that it's cool. That stuff is cool. And feel good about it. By the way, I thought I'd go about the X's this way. Oh yeah? I'm gonna do that. Except it's not gonna turn out that way, it's gonna be colored in on that side. Oh, but no, that it might would be an look X. really cool. Okay. <laughs> I'm really into Who's this. Who's the crafter now? Yeah, it's you. Uh, <laughs> it's you. <laughs> you just can't judge what somebody's life is possibly like based off their social media. I know. But I think for both of us really, like, you know, you've found that you really love doing stuff with like for the record and mm -hmm. finding stuff that you enjoy doing that like makes you feel fulfilled is very important. It's really important and like if you can make a living off that, that's awesome. All the more better. Yep. But it is like, well, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, I saw the for the record stuff like maybe like a year or so ago, mm -hmm. a year and a half ago. And I saw Baz first mm -hmm. and I literally was sitting in the audience um, with Lindsay Pierce was, was Oh yeah, I know um, of her. I don't yeah. know her. But Lindsay was 
you know, Daisy, one of the leads, and I, she's mm -hmm. so incredible, and mm -hmm. I remember sitting in the audience, and I was like, I will be in the show if it's the last thing that I do, and I remember so I was cool. like, I will be in the show, I will be in this company, I will make it happen, and I, and I, in October, or was it October, whatever, the last couple of shows of Baz in Vegas, um, I was getting so emotional on stage, because I was like, because there's a part, if you've seen the show, at the end, where we're all singing together, and it was, I was like, oh my god, I literally, a year ago to this day was the first time I saw the show, and I told myself I was going to be in the show. And it was really, it was That's really magical. Cool. Like I feel so lucky I got to. Um, yeah. That. But really anyway, the cool. point is, is yeah, I've been very lucky to be involved. That's awesome. With all that, <clears throat> find find something you love. Yeah, and I theater's know. Theater's a lot of work, you know, so you have to yeah, really love it. That's true. Everything's a lot of work, but that I think true. especially theater. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Without yeah. always like a good like return necessarily you oh, know for sure yeah i'm if anything the opposite yeah exactly i think that's been like a recurring theme on craft conversations is everybody's like uh, really like daniel has his circus stuff wes has his art like everybody has some thing that they do to sort of keep them sane absolutely know, in between all the rest of everything which is good and i have crafts, crafts. <laughs> You're crafting <laughs> with your friends. Crafting with my friends. Crafting with my friends. It really is. I love doing this show because it gives me an opportunity to see people. Absolutely. Like yourself. It is a little oddly, um, like, therapeutic. In a it is, way. isn't it? It's nice. I'm not going to be a crafter now. Well, you But it is, it is a little therapeutic. It's nice to just kind of sit down and focus on something. Fo focus, like, yeah. Which I'm usually, like, I wouldn't let myself do this otherwise, because I'm like, oh, I need to be doing things. Yeah, yeah, of course. This isn't productive. I'm a little too type A, and I'm working on it. So am I, dude. Yeah? Yeah. I, like, I can't let myself relax again working on it. I'm new. That looks so cool! I love that! That looks like a cool, like, pirate flag. Yeah! Yeah! That's what I was going for. A cool pirate flag. That's, I mean, that's what I had in my head. So. <laughs> if you could travel Eek. anywhere in the world, where would you go? Man, it's so cliche, but I, I've only ever been to Rome and Europe. Oh, I yeah? Go you want to go? I do, too. There's a lot of places in Europe I haven't been that I really like, want to go. Like, it's so cliche, because I feel like everyone and their no. mom has been, but I just, like I want to go to Europe. There's, like, a lot of cool stuff to do there. Yeah, I would also love to go and, like, see the Northern Lights. Like, Ooh, you know that what I mean? Like, cool. that would be really cool. Yeah. Um, I love that. Yeah. That's cool. Well, where would you go? Well, this will surprise no one, but number one on my list is New Zealand. And I think I knew that from before. Hobbiton. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Of course. We're talking about this. The biggest Lord of the Rings nerd. Um, but New Zealand. Oh god, I would love to go there too. Right. It's gorgeous. I'm just really concerned about the like 15 hour plane ride. I don't like planes. You don't like planes? Are you scared? No. Yeah. What I hate that about you. It's gotten worse in the past couple of years. Really? Actually. Mm hmm God, it sucks. Yeah. How do you like panic attack on one earlier? Oh my god. Or last year I did. I'm making yeah. an absolute disaster. No, I love it! I should have bought more even. glitter. Oh. I'm sorry, I didn't. Oh, please. No. Oh, please. I didn't think we would have such a glitter fest. Well, when the lace turned out to be a bust. <laughs> lace turned out to be terrible. Yes! That okay. looks cool, Brie! I like that! You guys, I'm glittered everywhere. Glittered. Yeah, I'd like to go more places in Europe as well. I know. It's expensive. So expensive! People mm. are like, just go. And I'm like, mm. Yeah, I know. People say that. I'm like, um. Just go. You just need okay. to go. <laughs> like, sure, I'll just like sure. make that money come out of thin air. That's the thing. The, I Thank mean, you the for your enthusiasm. Thing, I'll feel guilty if I do that. Oh, same. And go and I'm like, not here, you know. Same. I know. Whatever I can do. I know. I do. That said, I'm trying this year, one of my goals this year is to like see more places and like Good. go places I haven't been. Yeah. I want to go to like the Grand Canyon, I've never yeah. been, and other places in California that I don't, haven't been to before. Palm I'm not Springs, sure what Springs it is, Castle. but... I love that! That looks so cool! Getting better! You did it, you did your ex. <laughs> I love that. What are you most looking forward to in 2016? That it's not 2015. Yeah, same. Same, Z's. 2015. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Get out of here. Um, no, it's, uh, 2016, I mean, am I most looking forward to? I don't know. It's every, the same thing I'm looking forward to every new year. New opportunities. Yeah, man. More growth. Yeah. Becoming a better person. Yeah! 
Look at you. Just all the stuff. Being a, like, actively good human. <laughs> I'm proud I of you. I just say this on camera. I'm actually a complete asshole. No, you're not. You're not. And I can... Well, I can't prove it. <laughs> <laughs> I do think that you're not an asshole. I mean... What's, what are you most looking forward to? Um, I'm really looking forward to this project, our Poe Party project. Really, oh, yeah. I'm really, really, really very much looking forward to that. Um, That's really exciting. Thank you. It's really cool to, like have something to be excited about because I spent a lot of time in the past couple years just like being sad that I haven't had auditions and like yeah, no. everybody else is booking stuff oh, and I like girl. can't get an audition to save my life and Ugh. I'm sure that will continue but I'm really actively trying to be like okay I'm gonna make sure that I take control over what I can have control yeah. over yeah. and like not sit around and be sad because you know I'm not getting any younger, and I don't want to just, like, waste away my life being like, where are my auditions? I'm not booking anything. I know. So, no it's more of that. To get dis it's easy to get discouraged it in this business. It 100% is. I don't know why. Because every business is hard, but there's something sure. about this business that can be really... Extremely difficult. Yeah, I think it's because what we do feels so personal. I think so, too. So it feels like a personal attack, like... Attack's the wrong word. That sounds like really... No, but it does a little it bit. It sounds really... Um, what's the word? Like I'm... Woe dramatic. is me. <laughs> yeah, dramatic. Yeah, I don't... I don't know what it is. I feel like it's um, a little hard on your heart. Hard on your heart. That's so, so true. There's something... It is hard on your heart. Yeah. I love that. Um, I mean, I hate that. I hate that that's the truth, but I love, I love the way you put that. Yeah, thanks. As dramatic as that sounds. It is, though. It is a little bit. You yeah. gotta... You yeah. gotta have a thick skin for sure because mm -hmm. the entire ninety eight percent of it is saying no mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and being so, disappointed. Yeah, and you just have to figure out a way to like be okay with that. Yeah, obviously it's like changes from time to time depending on like how invested you are in whatever yeah, exactly. it is in the project. Because like on the whole, like not booking like auditions doesn't really bother me, but like you know sometimes you get called back for something or you like get really far and something and you're like that that makes you like start to let it into your heart a little bit and you're like oh like this could be really cool and once you like get that hope up then it's all the more difficult when it's yeah, dashed so much of the time it's not even about you yeah that's true. like 80 percent of it is are things that you can't even control yeah. you know yeah. um unfortunately or fortunately it's like either way you look at it but I it's know. difficult to like know that from know. your perspective even though you can like tell yourself that it still like feels personal yeah yeah it does and it's hard for you yourself to like separate that i guess yeah gotta have gotta have that thick skin gotta have that thick skin and you gotta have crafts to do and you gotta have crafts <laughs> gotta have some crafts learn something about myself today. yes <laughs> craft is a success i just want to thank mary kate <laughs> That really is so beautiful. Uh, thank and you. And I like this one too. You, know, that you, you just guys, roll. I just did the big roll. I just, I just <laughs> rolled the big roll. I just did the big roll. <laughs> Copyright Freak Woko. <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you very much for being on our show thank today. Thank you for having me. It's so thank nice you. to catch up with you. It's really nice mm -hmm. to see you. Honey. I'm sure everyone will be so happy to see you again and hear your That's thoughts so on sweet. things. Thank and you. best of luck with your secret project. Thank you. Can't thank wait you. to see you. I know it's so lame. Thank you. No, it's awesome. Thank you. Thank you all for joining us. And until next time, craft your truth. And drink wine. And drink wine. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> This installment of Craftversations was sponsored by Audible. With over 150,000 titles to choose from, you can find an audiobook that's just right for you. Maybe it's my audiobook, The Epic Adventures of Lydia Bennett. If you haven't listened to it yet, what are you waiting for? This is for you, Brie. I'm currently listening to The Art of Asking by Amanda Palmer so I can learn to let others help me. Go sign up at audibletrial.com slash mksmiles for a free 30-day trial and a free audiobook. That's audibletrial.com slash mksmiles.